Here we have yet another bizarre but satisfying finger peel. These blisters happen because I'm gardening, and I know a lot of people are wondering why on earth this is happening when I'm just gardening, but sometimes my husband and I are doing really intense garden projects that require lots of handwork, like raking and hoeing weeds out of the garden or shoveling dirt. We bought a bunch of new trees and vines that needed to be up-potted, and whenever I'm using the shovel a lot, um, my hands, the skin, you know, it's gripping on the outside and it just doesn't have the fortitude of normal skin. And so as you're you're using your hands roughly, that outer layer of skin is getting jostled and yanked. And it does ultimately sometimes separate from the dermal layer, which is what happens with friction when you get a blister, but it sort of happens on an extreme scale on my fingertips because I am using my hands roughly and it just causes the skin to pull up. As we discussed in the last blister peel video, here is a bit of my fingerprint. You can see those ridges under there. And if you look closely at my finger here, you can kind of see the swirls of ridges as well on this under layer of skin as it begins to grow an epidermis on top of it again. And with this condition, the epidermis, the outer layer of skin, is hyperkeratinized. So it is my normal skin, but it's also got so much keratin in it that it's very thick. So when it, when it separates and peels off like this, it just looks really intense, but it is just, just the top of a blister that's not filled with fluid and it doesn't loosen or release until new epidermis is growing up on the dermal layer on the underside and eventually it just separates. And this may be the last of the fingertip blisters for a while. We've done all of the hoeing uh, of weeds and the cultivating of the soil with more fertilizer for this year. I've done all the mulching, all of the up potting for trees and, and other plants that needed to be planted outdoors. I planted all of the artichokes, uh, excuse me, the asparagus in the orchard. We did a bit of um, orchard raking of all of the mulch and all the wood chips and we also planted a couple more things there will be a bit more planting but most of that work is done by the tractor and i don't know if it's going to wear my hands out in this same way the only big project that we well we have all oh, endless big projects but the next big project that's coming up is developing a larger garden right now my garden is about 25 by 25 feet actually it's a little bit more like 27 by 27 if you include the perimeters um but our next garden is is 100 by 100, and we're going to be doing that in May. So it's possible that when we install that, if some of the work has to be done by me instead of just by the tractor, uh, I could potentially get some more blisters in a month or so. And also, um, the next project we're doing, April, is chicken coop month. So we have a, a shed that's going to become a chicken coop, and I, I potentially could be doing construction and things with my hands that could cause blisters, but not as much as I know I get blisters from using the shovel, the rake, the hoe, things with the long handle. Um, so this might be the last of the blisters for a little while. And by the way, I do get blisters in other spots, like on the side of my hand here, it was peeling up or right here and on my thumb from using those same tools, but um, they are not very interesting to watch.